Once upon a time, in a small village in Germany, there lived a poor miller and his three sons. The miller's most prized possession was his mill, which he intended to pass down to his eldest son. The middle son would inherit his loyal donkey, and the youngest, named Franz, would receive nothing more than the family cat, a clever and cunning feline named Felix. Franz was disappointed with his inheritance and complained to Felix, How can I make a living with just a cat? Felix, though, was no ordinary cat. He was wise beyond his years and had a plan to change Franz's fortune. Worry not, dear Franz, he said with a sly smile. With me at your side, your life is about to take a turn for the better. Felix persuaded Franz to buy him a pair of fine boots and a stylish hat. He then told Franz to keep his distance and watch the magic happen. That very day, Felix donned his new attire and set off to the nearby woods, where the king was known to take leisurely walks. Upon seeing the dashing cat, the king's curiosity was piqued. Felix put on a show, performing tricks and acrobatics that left the king in awe. He was so impressed that he invited Felix into his carriage and took him to the royal palace. At the palace, Felix continued to charm everyone with his wit and talent. The king's daughter, Princess Isabella, was particularly taken with the charming cat. Felix seized the opportunity and told the king that he could make the princess's dreams come true by obtaining the most exquisite gifts for her. Under Felix's guidance, Franz brought the princess gifts of jewels, fine dresses, and rare treasures. Each time Felix played a role in securing these gifts, further endearing himself to the princess. As time passed, Felix's reputation grew, and he became a trusted advisor to the king. He suggested that the king marry Princess Isabella to Franz, and the king agreed. Felix, always one step ahead, had Franz dress in the finest clothes and introduced Hemas, the Marquis of Carabas. Franz and the princess fell deeply in love, and a grand wedding was planned. Felix's cleverness had turned a poor miller's son into royalty. The clever cat, having achieved his mission, revealed his true identity to Franz and said, Now that you are a prince, I shall retire. With that, he returned to the small village, leaving behind a legacy of wisdom, charm, and a transformed life for Franz. And so, in the heart of Germany, the tale of Puss in Boots became a beloved story of how cunning and he,